I just woke up. Today is Saturday, and I think I quite possibly uh, fractured my elbow last night. <laughs> it hurt so bad. I was hoping when I woke up it would go away. I was putting Aiden to bed last night, and he has like his little bookshelf that's like the cube shelf next to his bed. And I went to turn, and I slammed it so hard that I thought I was going to pass out. And now it's like... <sighs> I can't really bend it more than, I know you can't really see, but it's swollen compared to my other elbow, and it turned purple, like, right away. I don't know how well you can s It whacked, like, right here. Oh, God, it hurts to even touch it. And that's where it got bruised right away. And then now today it's all purple over here. I don't know, I was just looking at it in the mirror and it looked more swollen. I don't know. I think it'll be okay, I just have to like... not be too rough with it. Oh my god, it hurts. I've never like whacked my elbow that hard before and then had it still be hurting the next day, so... I hit it hard enough, I know that. I don't know, I just know my grandma fractured her elbow once and she didn't even know it was like a hairline fracture she didn't even know it until she went to the doctor and she was complaining about oh i whacked my elbow a while ago and it still hurts so i'm hoping it goes away but i'm about to go get dressed and get uh get aiden ready so we can go visit my grandma so that's what we're doing today i just found her grape costume <laughs> i can't find the hat though I know, you hate it, but it's cute. <laughs> Calm down! Alright, I'll take it off. I just wanted a picture. I just wanted a picture! <laughs> she hates it, she's gonna rip it off. <laughs> Izzy, doesn't even fit you anymore because you're so fat now. <laughs> you can't really see it. It's huge. Those are even bigger. I like the bubbling cauldron. 60 bucks? Does it do anything? That guy is friggin' creepy. Is that it for Halloween? Those pathetic trees. Pathetic trees. I'm the good witch. Nani doesn't really put anything outside, huh? No. I don't like clowns. Oh my god, there's an Ursula. <laughs> how much is Ursula? I know, that's kind of not Halloween-y, but how much is it? I'm never going to be able to hang it back up. 30 bucks. <laughs> Dang it, there's nothing cool in here this year. <laughs> I like the bubbling cauldrons, but they're 60 bucks. That's way too That's cool too. This reminds me of a. it's broken. Reminds me of the dark yeah, there was one on the other side that I was like, that's creepy as hell. <laughs> My grandma got me this, and it is the coolest thing. It like blows glitter around inside, and then it makes like a, I don't know, like a water design. Okay, haven't done my hair yet. Just woke up and got dressed. Um, today's Monday. I had to think there for a minute. Um, yesterday, <laughs> I don't know what it is with hurting myself lately. I did something to my neck because I like 
I went to sit up and then this has happened to me before where I just moved like slightly and massive pain couldn't move my neck the rest of the day now it's like moved down into my shoulder blade area <sighs> I really hope there's nothing wrong with my neck like Steven had <laughs> I mean I don't get the uh the nerve pain down into my arm like he used to have he used to like not be able to move his arm so I don't think mine is that bad I just have like every now and then I get I move my head the wrong way and I get this massive pain and then I can't move my head the rest of the day. Sometimes it's been like two to three days, but today it's okay so far. I just want to not make any quick movements because I don't know what's up with that. That was a plus. This chair makes so much noise. I was editing my last video, which I just realized I didn't upload it yet. I thought I did. I usually like set it to upload. I'll upload it on Sunday and then set it to upload Monday morning and I didn't even upload it yesterday because my neck was killing me. But I was editing it and like I kept moving this chair and it kept sounding like farts. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get a comment that was like, are you farting? But if you see this, no, it's not farts. It's this stupid chair that does nothing but squeak and moan and groan. But I like this chair. I've had this chair for so long. This was like my office chair when I still lived at my grandma's. And like, despite the fact I always have something on the back of it because it's all ripped up at the top from Puss, <laughs> my evil kitty cat, uh, it's still super comfy in the butt area. <laughs> um, and I don't need this as like an office chair anymore because Steven got me that one that's supposed to be good for your back. And it actually does help. Um, it's kind of got like bouncy mesh netting all over it and <gasps> what I don't get as uh, many back aches sitting at the computer all day with that one what's the matter this is an apple you're not eating apple I wish you would eat some apple you used to like apple say hi hi <laughs> You don't have your glasses on yet, huh? They still in your room? I want a cookie. A cookie? You're crazy. You didn't eat breakfast yet. Why don't you? How about a bar? No. You don't want a cereal bar? No. Well, you're not getting a cookie. <laughs> um. We went to Home Depot yesterday to get some pumpkins. So we got. Aiden wanted a little tiny one because he wants to paint it. Um, and then we got a giant normal pumpkin, which I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Last year, I just, I got lazy with it and just did like the, the little plastic face pieces that you poke into it. And it was Jack Skellington. I just, Stephen's grandma was like, she had just passed away. And I didn't have time to sit and do that last year, so I usually do pretty elaborate carved pumpkins. I don't know if I've even, sh I'm pretty sure I've shown them on my channel before. I think the last one I did was David Bowie from Labyrinth, dressed up as Jared. Jareth. I don't know why I always want to say Jared. Um, I want 12. 12 what? You're not having Skittles either. What is wrong with you today? You just had a bunch of work done on your teeth. You think I'm gonna give you Skittles for breakfast? You are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're in a good mood today. Crazy? You're crazy. Stop saying crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. What's it called? What's that? Squares. Cookies. I'm scared. What, you drew cookies on paper too? Paper. And you completely made me forget what I was talking about. I don't know what I was saying. <clears throat> oh, the pumpkins. Uh, and then we got like a medium sized white one. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but the white ones are pretty cool. 
and that I don't think we haven't had a white one in a really long time if at all I don't think I've ever gotten a white one since I've been with Steven um <laughs> And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do an update now so that I don't have to do it in the car. Because I noticed again when I was editing the last video that my lips weren't syncing up with the audio and that's so friggin' annoying. I apologize for that, but like I can't fix the footage afterwards. It just is on my phone like that. So aggravating. And I didn't want to not have a vlog last week, so I uploaded it anyway. I gotta go fix my hair and do the usual Hey guys, I just got a package from my friend Ashley, aka Ashley's Home Creations, and you know whenever I get a package from her, I like to show you what I got. So, I got this one because I love the skeleton on the outside, and these are always cool because once you're done with the candle, you can use it for something else, and these are the Halloween labels that I made for her this year. We did like actual Halloween uh, pumpkins on them and this is pumpkin pecan waffle which is one of my favorite favorite fall scents I've said a bajillion times that I'm not like a, a bakery scent type person when it comes to candles and um, candles and body sprays but I love pumpkin pecan waffle because it has like it's got like notes of apple in it too, so it's got a kind of fruitiness to it, but just uh, the whole smell itself is awesome. So the Halloween sampler, it comes with two different things, so I'm going to show you this one first because I think this is going to be easier to open. This is a little wine glass, it's plastic though, so it won't break, and it says my broomstick runs on wine. Hopefully you can see that. These are super cute. And these are waxes in here. So we have, let's see, candy corn and sweet corn. I was excited to smell this because I was like, they have a sweet corn scent. I didn't even know that. This is like a little tart and it's got a pumpkin in it. So I know what candy corn smells like because I've made stuff with that scent. Oh, that smells good. So if you've ever had the candy corn scent before, it's very like, it's almost like a buttercream, but with the sweet corn in it, it's sweeter. Like it, it's weird. It smells like fresh corn, but it's got, it's got a bakery scent to it as well. So that one's uh, candy corn, sweet corn. <clears throat> if I don't lose my voice here while I'm trying to talk, then we have Godiva and Marshmallow. So these are shaped like a spider, a ghost, I'll show you, spider, ghost, and a little candy corn. So Godiva, I'm assuming, is chocolate, and marshmallow is always very sweet. Oh, that smells really good. Like, chocolate, like, I could eat this, <laughs> it smells like food. It doesn't smell like that fake chocolate scent that a lot of, uh... A lot of candles, like even Yankee Candle, I got, uh, there was a chocolate scent they had one time that like I got it before I even smelled it in the store because I was excited about it and then I got it and it just smelled like fake chocolate and ugh. I don't remember what the name of it was, but this does not smell like that. This is like actual candy bar chocolate. Um, okay, then we have green apple and caramel. So this is probably going to smell like a candy apple. Yep. <laughs> this is a really fresh apple-y scent with a hint of caramel to it. Oh, this reminds me... This reminds me of something from when I was little. Like, remember the store Limited 2? I don't think they even have those anymore. But they used to have little, like, body sprays that even my mom, as an adult, she would buy them because she loved the scent of them. And... I think that's what it's reminding me of. One of them smelled like this. <clears throat> and then the last one is Toasted Marshmallow Caramel ca Cafe, I think. Um, so this one's got a witch hat, a ghost, and a little brain. These are super cute. There's, yeah, the witch hat, brain, and then the ghosty. Ow. <laughs> So this one, 
Mm. This is like a s'more without the chocolate. It's very, mostly what I get from it is marshmallow. But this smells like I could pop it in my mouth and eat it too. I love marshmallow. Marshmallow is, uh, like I could just eat fluff out of the jar and get cavities. <laughs> All right, so those are the waxes, and then this, I believe, is the, like, the bath and body stuff, so. Oh, no! It comes in a little tin, and the tin got dented. Hold on. I can fix it. I'm going to cut the string off first. Ugh. Hold on. Let me try to bend her back into place. I have a couple of these tins from, like, um... Not the same one. I think they put out new ones every year, but I use them to hold makeup brushes. But this one's so cute. It's got a little witch on it. And a haunted house. So in here we have a Dunker bath bomb. This is Bite Me, which is like a cherry citrus type scent. I know because that's one of my favorites. Oh, it smells so good. So these are the kind that you just like dunk into the water and then they bubble up over it like the cauldron bombs so that's super cute then we have i believe this is jelly soap i was super excited about this the scent is black pearl and it's in like a syringe type thing this is so cool and i kind of want to smell it but i don't want it to spill oh, that smells good this is like a kind of like a men's cologne type scent steven's gonna want to steal this on me <laughs> I'll tell him he can use some of it, but he can't have the whole thing. Um, and then we've got... Whoops, hold on. There's little papers in here, so I don't want to... Okay. All I can smell is the bath bomb. I think that's what I was smelling when I opened up the thing. Um, a sugar scrub in pumpkin pecan waffle. So this one is, like, orange color. And that's the label on the top. This one has a ghost on it. I made these for her as well. <laughs> And let me see. <clears throat> I already know what pumpkin pecan waffle smells like, but I'm gonna open it anyway. Because I don't, I think I have one scrub left in the shower, so this one can go right in there and I'll start using it tonight. So, mmm, it smells so good. I love pumpkin pecan waffle, so that's what it looks like. It is orange. Oh, my lighting over here sucks right now. It was like, gloomy this morning and looked like it was gonna rain and now because I want to film something there's sun blaring in through the window but that is everything I got um she's going to be doing a uh 12 days of Christmas box and then she and I are going to be doing another box for the holidays um we haven't like gotten everything sorted yet but there is going to be another box like we did the ice cream box because Everybody who ordered the ice cream box asked us if we were going to do another one for Christmas time. So, or like the holidays in general. So we're, it's probably going to be smaller this time because we're both super busy, like shop wise for the holidays, but we're going to each make a couple of things for it. And yeah, I will have the info for it soon. As soon as I know exactly what we're doing. I got some, uh, bread dough today that is thawing out because it's frozen bread dough and I really want to make a cooking video on what I'm making with these because it's kind of like monkey bread but it's something my grandma used to make and I've never made it myself but I had such a craving for it the other day and I can't wait to make it and see if it comes out like hers so I think I'm gonna do a video on how I make it and hope that it comes out <laughs> um, I'm just leaving Michael's I had to I stopped at Target because I haven't been doing a ton of grocery shopping because we still haven't gotten a check from Steven's new job yet. <laughs> so we're broke still. But I got something for dinner. I'm just gonna make like pasta and something with it. And then I ran into Michael's because I needed to get, I went to Target to get pumpkin paint that I saw, which is really just acrylic paint, but it was like Halloween colors, and they were all out of it this time. So I went into Michael's and I got a cheap set of acrylic paints, which I saved 40% on because I had the coupon. I think it was 13 something, but 40% off because there's a ton of colors in it. So he'll enjoy that. All I have is 
like washable finger paints that he uses all the time and then you can't paint a pumpkin with that because it's gonna a not stick to the pumpkin skin and B wash off if it rains because we put our pumpkins outside I forgot to show you guys the other day my uncle got me the bat I had been looking everywhere for this of course Target didn't have it when I first saw Target putting out the dollar spot stuff they had a bunch of these and then the second time I went back they were gone and they only had the candies so I had bought the candy and this one is orange pink and purple and then the bat is green and purple hold on So I haven't, I think they're just going to stay here once I like clean this little area, but those are my like halloween -y lights and uh, hold on, I don't want to waste the batteries right now because they don't plug in. Oh, I got these lights from my grandma too. The other day when I went, I ended up um, bringing home all the stuff that she didn't want to put out or like she was getting rid of. And she never hangs these little ghost lights, so I put them on our, uh, the stairway. And then that ghost is in the window where he always goes. But I thought they looked cute there. Kind of have to neaten them up a bit. I just threw them up for now. But that strand blinks and this one doesn't and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> but that's what that looks like. And then we have this. May as well give you a little tour of my decorations. This was from uh, last year. Little eyeball. I wanted to put it outside but I don't want it to get ruined so. And then that keep out sign we've had for forever. And then this guy up here that I took from my grandma too. <laughs> Let's see what else did I put up? Oh, hold on. Um, these skulls that we've had for forever. The giant one and the little baby one. We had two of those, but one of those got ruined with the, the mice fiasco in the attic. And then this is from the Target dollar spot. Um, I don't really... Well, the only Halloween thing I have on the mantle is my Yankee Candle candle holder which is always in the house anyway so like it's not really a Halloween decoration and these guys that are hanging were from my grandma's overstock Halloween stuff and then I have some stuff in the kitchen that's from Walmart I think yeah Walmart this year these guys are from Dollar Tree that was from my grandma it's a little tea light holder um and the cups and that candle were from my grandma. This I just got from my friend Ashley. Uh, what else is out here that's Halloween? The tablecloth I've already showed you. My giant skull platter. Aiden made this cute little pumpkin so I hung it from the, the light. And I think that's all that's out here that's Halloween-y. Oh, my dish towels. That matches the tablecloth and then these two were from Kohl's last year. And Aiden did some pumpkin artwork. He had another one, but it's like too thick to hang with magnets. This one right here. He brought that pumpkin home too. And then that I've already showed you is from TJ Maxx this year. And that was from At Home last year. It's a candy dish. And the eyeball keeps falling off, so I have to keep hot gluing it. And it's really annoying. <laughs> that I think I paid 20 bucks for that, and that is not worth it. Um, but that's it. That's pretty much all the Halloween decorations except for the blow-up stuff that's outside. So, figured I would show you this stuff because I'm waiting to leave to go meet my friend. But, like, it's 9.14 and she hasn't been coming until, like, 10, so. Aiden's uneaten cupcake from last night. He took, like, two bites and didn't want any more. That's going in the trash. Alright, I am going... Well, I have to wash this pan and then I'm going. <laughs> Guys, it's Thursday. It's another, it poured all day yesterday and it's the same exact weather again today. I think it's supposed to rain until Saturday, which is kind of sucky because I hate rain so much. 
Um, so this morning I went, to, when I brought Aiden to school and went to get him out of the car, I had my umbrella in this hand and then I, he usually sits in the front seat with me like while we're waiting, he'll get out of his car seat and come to the front seat. But today for some reason he wanted to crawl back to the back seat to get out of the Jeep and I'm over here with friggin' holding the umbrella in this hand trying to open the door and get him out and then the umbrella flew away somehow because it was windy and I'm trying to like hold on to him so he doesn't run away and shut the door. I shut my thumb in the door. It doesn't hurt as bad now but I was like trying not to scream in the parking lot. Oh my god it was awful. But I, I caught up to the umbrella, I got him to school, and I'm not doing anything today but working on stuff, so we'll see how much I can get done. Once again, I've just woken up, and I'm about to put some makeup on. I finish, I figured I would finish the vlog right now. I'm gonna try new stuff here. The Cinderella highlighter. Because I don't want... Whoa! <laughs> That's like crazy. I don't know if it's going to show up as well as it is in person here. I didn't even use a ton of it, man. Aiden is watching his favorite show upstairs, if you can hear it. He loves that show Simon on Netflix. I think I've explained before, it's a little British bunny, and the the stuffed animal that I ordered for him came for his birthday, so I'm super excited that it came in time, because it said three to four weeks because it's coming from the UK, but that was like the only thing I could find toy related to this show, even on like British sites, I couldn't find anything related to this show and it's still a current show because it says that like they're doing a season two so I don't know I'm just glad I found something that was Simon related he was what else was he watching he was watching something else. I think he loves British accents because he was watching something else. And he's been singing Youngblood songs, which is hilarious to me because he doesn't really... If I start singing or something or Steven starts singing, he gets upset. Like, he doesn't like people to sing. <laughs> but for some reason, this is the, uh, the one musician that's getting him to sing. The other day he was in the, the other night, I mean, he was in the tub singing Die a Little. <laughs> I mean, some of his songs I don't like him listening to because there's curse words and stuff, but it was, it was cute. <laughs> um, that's something that, like, when I was little, my mom never really was too strict about if uh, like CDs said parental advisory or anything on them she was just like you know not to say those words don't repeat them in public but I mean it's different with Aiden because I don't want to say he doesn't get that they're swear words because he knows he knows when he says something bad and then he thinks it's funny there was a uh, period a couple weeks ago where he was going through all the curse words and he thought it was hysterical and like his ABA therapist says to not acknowledge it because that's just gonna make him want to say it even more like how can you not tell your kid to knock it off if they sit there swearing uh. what are you doing Play -Doh. you want to open play-doh yeah because play-doh is awesome at eight o'clock in the morning no. Oh. You gotta get dressed, sir. Mm. Yeah. 
it's like it's not pouring out now it's drizzling that's pretty much what it did yesterday it was just drizzle all day but oh my hand looks disgusting i can't <laughs> this is gonna be one of those days My... I was considering it trying to go back to like light brown but then I remembered how much I hated that so when my hair was brown I constantly wanted to put colors in it because I just feel like plain brown is too plain on me and then the colors were too much upkeep so then I started doing it black and it's been black for like two years now or so I don't know when the last time the last time I did fun color it was blue I think. It was blue and then it was blue and purple and then I was just like alright forget this because I couldn't get the blue out of my hair so I did black and it's been black ever since and I'm kind of getting bored with it and it needs to be cut so badly like I've been cutting it myself for so long because I don't want to go to a salon because they charge so much. <laughs> I'm just It's like a mess now it needs to be tamed by someone professional because when I had long layers in it, it looked the best because it was, like, maintained. But now it's just all over the place and, ugh. It's getting to be winter time, so I'm going to be straightening it. And it's probably going to be all choppy looking because I've cut it myself for so long. And I'm dreading that. So, I don't know. I will see you guys next week. Um, hopefully it's not still raining by then. <laughs>